Every time we lose an officer in the line of duty, it brings back those old memories. A somber day for law enforcement officers across central Indiana as they pay tribute to those killed in the line of duty. They came together for the Indianapolis Fraternal Order of Police annual memorial service. WRTV's Todd Simmons explains how those fallen officers are remembered 24-7. The wall of names on the Indiana Law Enforcement Memorial is powerful but silent, leaving their family and friends to speak for them. One name stands out for IMPD Chief Chris Bailey. My friend Jake Laird, who who, were, who I worked with on my shift, and uh, we, were, we were great friends, and I miss him every single day. Officer Laird was shot and killed on duty nearly 20 years ago, but the pain is still fresh. Every time we lose an officer in the line of duty, it brings back those old memories, and it does for a lot of people here. The names of the fallen came to life at the Fraternal Order of Police's annual memorial service, where officers and their loved ones let their guard down around others who know the same grief. It is a blood covenant, an exchange between service and sacrifice. Every flag represents an officer who died, placed there by the families with a permanent hole at their dinner table. Officer Brianne Leith was the last IMPD officer killed on duty, her mother Jennifer shared her heartbreak with the crowd. My question is why? Why did you give me this beautiful person to raise? Teacher, it'll make a difference in the world. It'll only be snatched away from us so quickly. The silence left behind is now filled with the sound of taps. But even after this memorial service is over, the memories of those fallen officers shape how the people they knew best see the world. We, we go about our lives doing the best we can to make them proud if they were here with us today. And that's what I've done since 2004 is living up to the expectations that I know he has for me. And uh, that's all I can do. Tosh Simmons, WRTV.